looks promising. So the extras get to work digging the plague pit. While Colin uses his green cloth to cover up the old hen house. This will be digitally replaced later with an entire French village. To create realistic movement, the boys use some old hessian and a wind machine. But what about our plague victims? What should they look like? Professor Cohen has dug out a medical textbook from 1576. Written by Mercuri Alice, an Italian plague doctor, it details what physicians like Nostradamus were faced with, one of the greatest killers of all time. This book identifies in great detail what these symptoms and signs of the disease were. For instance, he has entire chapters on what is the bubo. Buboes were painful, swollen lymph nodes found in the armpits and groins of a plague victim. They were lanced to release a foul-smelling black liquid. Another chapter concerning the morbili, these little bumps that form and cover uh, entire bodies. Armed with this information, our makeup artist gets to work on the victims. Very attractive. <laughs> And Neil starts to turn six extras into 600 corpses. Yeah, let's go for it. They lie on green boards so Neil can easily cut them out and layer them into the pit later. Okay, is everyone semi comfortable? Can't do it. I'm ready. <laughs> During the plague, Nostradamus suffered a huge personal tragedy that sparked his crusade against the disease the death of his entire family. To some extent, one could view Nostradamus as a shaman, a healer. Um, and shamans are often made after traumatic events. Nostradamus lost his first wife and children to the plague. He was, after all, a plague doctor and couldn't save his wife and children. And for quite some time, he wandered France, treating plague victims and being very close to his own mortality, let's, let's face it. On his journey around France, Nostradamus confidently strode into plague-ridden towns and cities, never catching the disease. He became renowned for using local herbs and flowers to create his own remedies. One of his most famous was the rose pill. Simon Mills is an international authority on herbal medicine. He co-founded the first university center in the UK to study complementary health. In those days, plague was seen to have been traveled on putrid air. And the principle of the rose pill is to clean the air based on cloves, a strong antiseptic oil, and on oris, which is a perfume fixative. And that he held in his mouth and suggested other people hold in their mouth as a preventative against the plague. It's possible that it might even have been helpful because clove is a strong antiseptic oil and it may have actually helped to prevent the infection coming in via the mouth. Although Nostradamus didn't actually find a cure for the plague, in the Middle Ages, people had faith in him and believed he was a healer. 21st century experts are harder to convince. His rose pills are interesting and possibly unusual, uh, but whether they make him a major physician, I don't think so. Action. What about the boys? Have they managed to build a convincing plague scene in just a few hours and with only six bodies? They build a 16th century French village in 3D and superimpose it onto the green cloth. To add extra depth to the plague pit, Neil creates digital dummies. And small fires are used to create the large fires that burned the contaminated goods of the victims. The end result is a moving portrayal of a French village ravaged by the plague. Down to the tired old cart with its lifeless cargo. And cut. Excellent, that was really nice, that one. <laughs>